All right, today is broadcast day, and my name is Richard Weberg, for those of you who do not know me, and we are in day nine of our video series, How to Make $100 a Day Online, the 997 Easy Business, and what we're going to show you how to do today is broadcast an email to your leads list in Got Backup, our 997 uh, Easy Business, and so... If you're watching this video for the first time, all you need to do to um, go to day one, uh, which I highly recommend before you finish watching this video, if this is the one you're landing on, I suggest you start with day one. Uh, all you need to do is where my name is down here in the left hand corner underneath the video is click on that and that will take you to my channel. And then once on my channel, what you can do is make sure and subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of the videos that we put out. And then you can see right here how to make $100 a day online, the 997 Easy Business. Just click Play All, and you will start watching it from day one because we are literally walking you through step-by-step -step how to take this $9.97 business opportunity, got back up, and we're showing you how to turn it into $100 a day completely step-by-step, -step, one day at a time. Literally every little thing, that you could possibly think of that you would need to do. I'm literally showcasing in video, watch over my shoulder and do as I do. So today we're gonna show you how to broadcast to your leads list because if you've been following the videos now, you should start to be generating some leads. And if you haven't, then maybe you're not following all the videos and you need to step it up a notch and go back and make sure that you are following all of them and that you um, because you should be already generating leads so now what you're going to want to do for this step uh, this video is you're going to want to log in to got backup so just make sure you log into your got backup main members area not the power line this is where your main account is log in i'm logging into a demo account like i've explained in many videos as to why and now once we're back here, what we're going to want to do is you in the left hand side here where it says digital tools, you're going to want to click on that and click on the use this or lead capture system. Sorry, click on lead capture system. And this is where you're going to be able to send a broadcast email to your leads. Now in another video, what we did is we showed you how to add follow-up messages to your Got Backup campaign. And follow-up emails are emails that you set up in a sequence and go out. Once a subscriber takes the free tour, they get an e email from you immediately. And then we set it up for uh, three days worth of emails in succession one day after another. A broadcast email is where you can go broadcast to your leads list anytime you want. And you can do that uh, once a day, you can do it twice a day, you can do it three, four times a week. And what we recommend doing is sending a broadcast email to your leads at least three to four times a week. The company is following up with your leads as well on your behalf uh, to get them to purchase got back up and um, and also the business opportunity side of building a business. They are following up with your leads. They are sharing the webinars they do with your leads and they are trying to convert them for you. They, the company is extremely focused on helping you build a business. Uh, so now you want to make sure and participate by following up with your leads. Because when you learn all these different things, these that I've been going through on these videos, these are the key to your success. And Following up with your leads helps to build like, know, and trust with somebody that's actually doing it and not just the company. It's the personal touch. And that's why you want to make sure that you follow up with your leads and you send broadcast emails. So we've already set up some follow-up emails in your campaign. Now what we're going to do is send a broadcast. So what we want to do is there's one thing in the other video that I did about adding the follow-up emails that I didn't share with you in setting it up. And one thing you may have to do first before you broadcast to your leads is click on edit your account over here where this little 
person is, you click on your name and a little drop down and click on edit your account. And then scroll down to here and you may need to make sure first for the lead capture system right here, you need to put in your details because to be can spam compliant and to send emails legally, you need your physical address, your physical um, address. You can see right here, tell recipients where you're located. Your message must include your valid physical postal address. This can be your current street address, a post office box you've res registered with the U.S. Postal Service or a private mailbox you've registered with a commercial mail receiving agency. So you have to have a postal address in here of some kind, uh, and it should be yours, of course, because that makes you a can spam compliant, which is important for sending emails out and every autoresponder lead capture system there is must have the sender's details. So you may have to put that in there um, first before you send the broadcast email. If you haven't, or if you haven't added your follow-up emails yet, you need to make sure that you put your details in here. Um, then you would come down to the bottom. You would enter your current password, what your password is to log into Get, Get, Got Backup, and you would hit update. You'd click update and then it would update these details and then what you, we can go ahead and follow the rest of this video. So once you've done that, then we go over here to the left hand side and go to the lead capture system. And now we're gonna click on message up here at the top. Well, I'm gonna hover over it and I'm gonna click on, I put my mouse cursor on it, hover over it, and then click on send broadcast. Now you can see there's some other campaigns back here and there possibly could be in your account. It all depends if you've bought anything else from the company, but if you've just bought and got backup and that's what you are only promoting, well then got backup uh, pre-enrolled is what you want to do. So we would select got backup pre-enrolled list and now it'd be over here on the right hand side. That means that's who you'll be sending to. And if you did want to send to other leads list, you just select them and they go over here. And then that's who you're actually sending to. So we want the got backup pre-enrolled. And then what we want to do is underneath this video as well, click on show more, you know, for the description. Any of these links here, you just need to click on them to open them. And we have two documents back here, one for email swipes and that type of stuff. And then one for, I did another uh, email or another doc yesterday in the, that video for a list of mailers and safe lists to use for free traffic. And it's got all our links for paid traffic, to, a couple paid traffic sources that we are using as well. So now all you'd want to do is click on this one for your 997 easy business follow-up emails and advertising swipes. Just click on that. It's going to open it up in a new tab. And once it does, what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down. And I am actually giving you an email swipe for your first broadcast. So you keep scrolling down until you get to the section here where, and there's many email swipes back here that you can use and edit for any type of email marketing that you want to do or follow up emails. But we want to get to this right here where it says broadcast email example below. Okay, so once you're here, our first broadcast example will be here and you can edit this. You don't have to use it. You can write your own. This email did really well for us. And so we're going to give you that as an example broadcast email to send out. Otherwise, this the, the pre-enroll list of people who have taken the tour and signed up to get on your list um, that are interested and got back up, we're going to use a special link for them as well. Now that link, you don't have to go find it. I already have it in the, the email copy here. So where you would find that so I'm going to backtrack a sec here so I don't forget to show you this, is if I go to Digital Tools on the left-hand side, click on that menu, and then Got Backup, and I click on, maybe you only have Got Backup there, and click on Reseller Tools, there's a link back here that once somebody's already pre-enrolled, they already took the tour, but they haven't paid yet, and that's why they go on that in the lead capture system on the pre-enroll, there's a special link. You wouldn't send them this one because that's the in, uh, tour page. They've already taken the tour. They're on your list. So you could either send them this one right here. 
which is the main profile of the company, you know, they're like the main website, your affiliate link for the main website. And you would just click on this image like this. And then you would scroll down and copy your link to clipboard. And this is like, you know, we can copy this real quick and open this in another window. And you'll see this is like the main got back up, but your affiliate link for the main website. You could send your leads this because here they can direct pay. They can learn more about the company. They can check out packages, resellers, home, why us, and all of that kind of stuff. And that way they can check out more about got backup. So we do send this link sometimes, but for this particular email, the link we are going to send is another one that is only found in the ad copy. So, you know, Got Backup does provide you some ad copy as well. You could mix and match with any of the ad copy that we provide you, but you click on Ad Copy. And this is where you find this link if you're ever composing, when you are composing an email yourself, you come back here and you'll see what to say to pre-enroll prospect. This means the people who have already taken the tour. So you scroll down in here and you will see a link right here uh, www.viewmypowerline.com. That is the link that is going to be in this broadcast because these people, all they need to use is their current email address that they put in your tour page to log in because they are already tagged to you. So then if they upgrade from their back office of the, the um, tour area, then they will automatically become your paid sale and your paid referral because this power line everybody gets when they first take the tour automatically and it's their email that is tagged to you so they just need to use their email address and you of course will get credit for the sale but for this one this broadcast you don't have to go find this i just want to make sure i pointed that out so now we're going to go back to the lead capture system and again we're going to click on message and we're going to click on send broadcast and then we're going to click on got back up pre-enrolled it's going to go over here because that's who we're sending to we're going to go back to the doc we're going to copy why join got back up we're going to take that come back to the lead capture system paste it in the subject line we're going to scroll down we're going to go back to um, the doc and we are going to copy the email copy so we're going to highlight left click drag highlight all this all the way down to here where the sign off is we're going to click copy we're going to come back to where we're broadcasting this email we're going to paste it in there and then we're going to fix her up a little bit so what this email basically says is you know why join got back up and we're trying to explain to people why they should join because people are looking for an opportunity looking for a means to make more money uh there is many reasons why people should join Got Backup, and I listed some here. We're gonna highlight these and italicized it. But so this email reads, you know, why join Got Backup just in case? What do you mean? And now I'm gonna bold, what do you mean? Like that. And scroll down here, and now these are all italicized. All I did was highlight them and click on italicize, B for bold, U for underline. This is like a traditional editor. Um, you can link stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do that to make your links clickable when they receive their email. So this just goes through and you know, just in case you lose your job, just in case this nine business actually works, which it does, it works very well. Just in case you can make 100K or more a year, just in case you get a divorce and lose half of everything you own. It, it's something to make people think when they read this email to go, hmm, Maybe I should uh, I should join this business. I mean, it's nine bucks for God's sakes. Okay. Uh, here is a generic link to the comp plan. You are free to use this when talking to people. Uh, this is provided by the company as well. Um, that will be in that doc. So here, it, the, that link as well is in this doc. So all you ever got to do is come back to this doc as well, and you'll find um, the power line PDF on how the whole entire comp plan works. And you will also find the generic link that everybody uses that you can send to your pre-enrolled people as well. So you can find that right here because you're going to need the HTTPS in it as well, which I believe in the Got Back About Back Office doesn't have that in there. I'm not going to go there right now. 
But we're going to link this so that when people get this email, their links are clickable. And that's what we're going to hyperlink it. So you highlight it. You know, don't highlight anything extra, just the exact link. Once you do that, copy it. Go up here to this little link area, you know, where you see this two links next to each other. One's to break a link, one's to make a link. So we want to click on this first one, click on it. We're going to paste it into this box right up here at the top for the URL. And we're going to hit the left arrow key and go all the way over to the left. Make sure there's no space before the HTTP. Okay, now we're going to hit OK. So now that's clickable. When somebody clicks that link, um, it's going to click and open it in a new tab from their email. And if you don't do that, it might not be clickable. Now I'm also going to bold just in case. So I'm going to click bold because I want to keep uh, focused on the just in case. That's what this email is truly trying to get across to them. I'm going to italicize that one. And I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to bold just in case again. Oops, sorry about that. So just in case, bold and italicized again, both. Upgrade your account now and start earning. Use the same email address you were reading this email with to log in. And now we're going to hyperlink their power line area where they can go and upgrade by just logging in with their email address. And we're going to click on this link here, paste it in the box. Hit your left arrow key, go all the way over, make sure there's no space before the HTTPS, because if there's a space there, it will break the link. Hit OK. And now you can see everything in this email looks good. Uh, we're going to put look at this comp plan in bold. I'm going to bold that. So we got that bolded. We want to make sure this email spaced out like it is. It makes it easier to read for people. So you want to make sure you always have good spacing in emails. This I'm going to delete right here because I want this to come up a notch. And now we're going to sign off. Now, I would sign off Richard and John Weberg because me and my son are partners in all things affiliate marketing that we do. And you can sign off however you want, whether it's just sincerely or have a great day and your name. But always use your name and sign off because that's a personal touch and that's usually how people sign off on emails and different things is you always have some type of signature and you are free to alter this email in any way um, these are just uh, email examples that you are free to use and copy and edit and they're all listed here on that doc like i said i showed you how to get to this we're underneath an email you just click on it but now we're going to send this email so what you want to do well i'm not going to send it because it ain't going to really go anybody here because i'm using a demo account and for those of you who watch this video all the way through that um, haven't joined us yet, I do have a full Now Lifestyle GVO account from the parent company. So my back office looks a lot different. So I do these videos um, using a demo account for Got Backup because this is the business we're focused on building together. And so I try to use this as much as possible so you can always see what it's going to look like most likely for you. All right. So now all this... The e Sorry about that. Got tongue tied there for a sec, which happens to me a lot because I do a lot of talking when I'm doing all these videos. Uh, we want to click on add. Everything looks good to you. You got your subject line in. You got your where the you know your group that it's going to. And we just scroll down the bottom and click add. And it'll give it a sec. It'll load it up. And now what we can do, you can see there's a whole bunch of pending broad broadcast <laughs> i'm a little bit more tongue-tied than usual today for some reason but anyway and people who are who are, oh god people who use this demo account to share have full now lifestyle accounts as well and they're showing brand new people so they're not actually queuing them to go out and i'm not going to queue mine neither um i'll just delete mine out of here but that's why there's so many still listed as pending and that's what i wanted to point out once it is sent, it'll end up down here. The last step to get this to send is there's a little plus button here. And you can see, I don't know if you can see uh, the little word Q, but that's what that is, okay? 
Now, if you hated your email and you want to delete it, you'd click this delete and redo it. Um, you could edit the message. If you forgot something, the second one over is an edit. But the plus sign over to the right from this email, why join got backup, just in case my picture's in the way of you when you're viewing this video. But you'd follow this all the way over to the right. And then once over here, there's a plus sign to cue this. You would click that. And then after a little bit of time, your email would get sent to all of your leads. And truly with any marketing online, email marketing is the key. This is where we make 90% of our income. We make it through emailing and following up with our leads. Everything we do personally has a lead system of some kind involved in it or a full-blown autoresponder where we set up emails and lead capture pages. Got Backup happens to provide all that for you. So you don't need like a separate autoresponder. I mean, if you do, of course, we email our own list, our other email list, and I will show you that one day because we use a different link because they're not, they have, some of them haven't taken the pre, the Got Backup tour page, you know, they haven't opted in to the Got Backup tour page yet. But in here, any leads you're sending to in the pre and pre-enrolled ones like we just did they already have signed up to take the tour and that's why we're using a different link because we want them to just simply log in that area and get upgraded or get started or that's why we would also send this type of page that is provided to you and then the company's going to follow up for you as well and they're going to try to convert your pre-enrollees as well into paid members and so just remember that email marketing is the key and that, you know, we broadcast emails almost every single day. We Once we started email, using email marketing, uh, that's when our income really took off. And that's why everything we do is involved in some way with emailing your leads, because that is the number one ROI, you know, return on investment that you will find online, period. Uh, the biggest marketers in the world all use email marketing, and so should you if you want to replicate the success of making over $100 a day and scaling your business into six figures because you never do it without email marketing. So it's better to learn it and not just rely on just a company to go do it because it's not difficult. It's like sending an email. You could see how easy it is. And then just learn to write your own by, you know, when I first started writing my own emails, I was stealing bits and pieces of other people's emails uh, that I would get about different things and make it into my own email. Um, back then there was no like Google Docs where I could get email swipes from or there was none of the stuff like there is today. Um, but I had to learn to write my own emails eventually and that's what you want to do eventually. You can use bits and pieces of other information like I showed you back here um, when we go to the digital tools or got backup, excuse me, underneath the digital tools or it's just going to say got backup. Like I said, you can go to reseller tools and there's more ad copy back here, you know, like I showed you that area. And you can use bits and pieces of that to compose emails because there's some really great ad copy back here. Um, gives different versions of what you word to your leads because you don't always want to send the same email over and over again because you're trying to motivate them to join you. They are already interested. It's just you're just trying to get them to get over the hump if they haven't already. And that's why you can have many different ways of showing them, you know, and write your own. Tell them you can write short emails that are like, hey, I'd love for you to join us and got backup. This thing is really awesome. I really love blank, blank, blank. Um, I'll give you everything that I'm using to help you build your business as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, any lead sources that I'm using, I'll share with you. Because, you know, almost every lead source out there or traffic system has an affiliate link and you can share those affiliate links with your leads so that they can get more traffic to build their got back up business as well um and it's just sharing it's just talking to people but through writing and it doesn't have to be perfect god if i look back at some of my first emails i wrote over 18 years ago i mean they ain't what they are today um and it doesn't matter it, it's the more you do it, the better you get at anything. And that's the key to getting better at everything is by doing, just doing. The repetition of doing something over and over again is how you get good at it. And it's the mother of all skill. Okay. 
So other than that, my friends, uh, happy emailing and make sure that you send some broadcast emails every week to your list. I will provide more swipes back there on that doc so you can check back with it regularly because I update it, um, I'll update it every so often with more swipes that we use that have done really well, subject lines, stuff like that. And other than that, my friends, let's keep on rocking it and keep on building, keep following the videos, and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.